it seems there there are a lot of books now that younger people are purchasing about purpose-driven lives and how to live a purpose-filled life. And it seems that you have had a purpose-filled life for quite some time. I'm curious, Fred, as to where that comes from. What drives you to want to help people and to continue to help people? What does that give, what does that give you by you giving? Well, I found that it gives me enormous satisfaction. I do it because I like it. Um, and it very quickly became a big part of my life. I, <clears throat> um, I did some uh, civic and charitable work when um, I was working with my father, and he did a good deal in those days. And then after he died, I first thing I did was to be uh, president of the downtown council, which was a group of uh, people who had uh, real estate interests in downtown Jacksonville. And um, I learned a lot about how to work together. And uh, <clears throat> one of the interesting things that happened to me at that time was that um, we had uh, Axe Handle Saturday uh, in downtown Jacksonville, the race riots. And um, because I was president of the downtown council, I uh, got involved in that, particularly with the, uh, the young black activists who were uh, very much involved in that. And um, I got involved with some of the uh, ones who were very active, and I, I, I worked with them, got to know them well, people like Alton Yates and Rodney Hurst. And um, yeah, I learned, started learning a lot about the problems of the community. And um, the, uh, the Chamber of Commerce was trying to uh, work between the city government, uh, Hayden Burns was mayor, and he he didn't want to give an inch. And um, the uh, the young black group uh, uh, didn't want much, but they did want to see some progress. And so I would talk to them, work with them, and then go see the people at the chamber and uh, some of the people in city government. And so I was, I was very active in that and that spurred on an additional interest in being involved in, in civic life in, the, in this community. 